Guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first video where I have adjusted the position of my microphone. It would seem that people have started to look past the life-changing, world-class content that I've been putting out and they are complaining about the quality of the sound. Now, I am told that this is because I am a fairly energetic speaker, shall we say. So the volume of my voice is distorting the microphone. Therefore, apparently, if I wear it a little bit lower, uh, the sound quality is going to dramatically improve. So let's see. I hope the sound gods out there are pleased with my uh, efforts. Anyway, enough is enough. Like I said, welcome along. I'm super excited that you are here. I'm super happy that you are giving me your attention. I'm, do you know what? I'm super happy that you are choosing to return and view my content. What doesn't make me super happy is there's still a large percentage of the people who watch my content haven't actually subscribed. So if that is you, please do me the honor of pressing subscribe. Then you can give the bell a little tiny tickle. Then if you want to, and if you, if you really want to help me, you can comment and you can share this video. The YouTube gods in charge of the algorithm, they love that, which means that more people will see my content, which means it's gonna do me a massive favor. Anyway, we're gonna be talking today, going to be tickling the testicles of the mindset balls, shall we say. I'm gonna be discussing the fact that whatever situation that you find yourself in right now, insomniac, overweight, stressed out, tired, don't like this, don't like that. You have arrived at your current destination by following a set of beliefs, by following a set of processes, by using the mindset, it's got you here. So I can categorically tell you that you will not move, you will not leave this place of discomfort if you are approaching tasks with the same mindset, the same belief system that got you here. Think about it logically, let's remove emotion. Why would you be able to leave this place of discomfort if you are still using the same eyes, the same thought processes, the same thoughts, habits, beliefs, and behaviors that got you here. It makes no sense, does it? Therefore, if you would like to leave this place, if you would like to start to feel better, you're gonna have to, unfortunately, you are gonna have to do things that you don't normally do. You're gonna have to adjust your belief system. You're gonna have to change your thought process. You are going to have to positively influence your perception of every single event. Now, the simplest way that we can alter perception, the simplest way that we can positively influence the way that we see things is by stripping things right back. Number one, like in the video I spoke about the other day, behaving like the person that we want to be, Got a, few, a couple of little comments about that saying, uh, am I talking about fake it till you make it? No, I'm talking about identifying the habits and behaviors of the person who you want to be and then adopting those behaviors as your own. Therefore, you will start to move away from where you are and you'll start to get closer and closer and closer to where you actually want to be. A really simple way of doing this is being 100% honest with yourself. Are you doing everything you can to achieve seven to nine hours of quality sleep every single night? We know for an absolute fact, if you are sleep deprived, if you're chronically sleep deprived, you are going to be looking at life through a completely different lens to if you were prioritizing sleep. 
there are phases of sleep. One of these phases is REM sleep, dream sleep, rapid eye movement. You've probably, you're probably aware of this phase of sleep. It's during this particular phase of sleep that we, we regulate emotions. It's when we make sense of shit that's going on in our lives. If we are not getting enough dream sleep, REM sleep, we tend to be much more emotionally charged. We tend to be way more reactive in any situation. So if we're trying to change our perception of things, if we're trying to stop catastrophizing and going off like a bottle of pop, it makes sense that if we were getting enough REM sleep, we're going to look at things differently. There's a, another phase of sleep, which is deep sleep. Deep sleep is basically where physical regeneration happens. Therefore, if you are constantly complaining of, of, being, of being low energy and you are tired and everything's an effort, it's probably because you're not getting enough physically restorative deep sleep. I was going to say dream sleep then. Deep sleep. So can you see that if you start to prioritize sleep, now look at this rationally, remove emotion, you haven't got insomnia. You, you haven't. Your lifestyle is not indicative of someone who prioritizes sleep. You probably drink too much coffee. You probably um, worry too much. You probably spend too much time on social media late into the night playing video games. You, pr you probably have a, a uh, um, a terrible sleep wake cycle. You get up when you want, you go to bed when you want. You probably go to bed too late, you probably get up too late, you're probably not getting enough daylight. So if we can look at prioritizing sleep, your perception of events, i.e. the mindset in which you approach tasks, situations, daily life, will be that much better. If we look at, so we're gonna look at your sleep, if we look at our nutrition and hydration, if we are fueling ourselves on potato chips, Twinkies and sodas, we are not giving our bodies what, it, what they need to flourish. If you are consuming a highly processed diet, so you're not getting enough sleep, you're consuming a highly processed diet and you're not consuming enough water, your physical state will not be in line with the person who you want to be. And because your physical state is not in line, your mindset, your patterns, of your thought patterns, beliefs and behaviors will be in line with the person who you don't want to be, which means that you will focus far more on how you don't want to feel and you will struggle to focus on how you do want to feel simply because you are chronically sleep deprived you are undernourished and you are dehydrated. They are three things that are completely in your control. You don't need anything or anybody else to fix those three parts of your life. The issue is you don't see it that way because you are looking at your problems, you're looking at your issues with the same brain, the sleep deprived, the undernourished, the, the, the dehydrated brain that got you into that problem. And because you are now in a state of low energy, you're in a state of low, mo low motivation, you are struggling to change the lens and see things the way that you're supposed to see them. Hopefully, that's given you something to think about. Hopefully it's given, it's given you actionable advice that are gonna help rock you enough to get you out of this rut that you find yourself in. Because let's have it straight. There's absolutely no one on this earth who is coming to save you. It's on you. Have a good day.